Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I've decided to do another daily for the 18th. Okay, I haven't done one for the 18th yet, but I'm going to do another daily. I usually don't do them until the night time for the next day. Today's the 17th, so we're going to call this a daily for the 17th, 18th. Okay? Now keep in mind that these readings are not for every single person. They may resonate with one person. They may resonate with ten. They may resonate with a thousand. But I'm going to go with what my guide tells me to say. I do nothing by the book. Somebody's needing to broaden their horizons. Look outside the box. Regain their focus and their concentration. Somebody has lost it. Given up on a situation, you know. Maybe it's time to start over and you just need to do it. You need to find the focus, the ambition, the drive to do it. Somebody just doesn't have the will, the care. I just don't care. Well, if you just don't care, then you ain't going to get nothing out of it. I mean, if you don't care, then don't expect to get any <laughs> reward. You have to put in effort. We got somebody here that doesn't want to put in effort. It's like, I want, I want that. I want it, but I don't want to work for it. Wow. We have an absence here. We absolutely have an absence. These are all reversed. Every single one of them. There's an absence of desire to put in any effort whatsoever. And it's brought a lot of conflict, right? It's a challenge. Somebody is facing a challenge and they have to rise above it. You gotta rise above the challenge. Nobody is gonna do it for you. Absolutely not. No way in hell is anybody gonna do it for you. Somebody is being presented with a challenge. They have to make a decision, but they have no desire. There's lack of faith. Lack of trust, lack of believing, lack of following their intuition, their inner guide. You know, I just, I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, if you, you know, if you can't, you can't, you know, that's bullshit. I can. I can. I worked for a major corporation. I'm going to tell you a story really quick. And I started at the bottom as an administrative assistant. Didn't even have a college degree, major corporation. I went in, I went in there, not a very experienced at all. I went to some sort of training or whatever. And the big wig, the big, 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 big top dog came in there. And he said, there's one way to get what you want is to never accept the words, I can't. When I was a buyer for a major aerospace company, never accept the words, I can't. And from that day on, I walked out of there and I never accepted the words, I can't, from my suppliers or anybody. anybody. I started out there working for $13 an hour. By the time I got done, I was almost up to 30 within 10 years. Moved right to the top of my department because I never accepted the word can't. 
So do not use that as an excuse. You can. You might have to go to the top. You might have to go above and beyond. You might have to work a little bit harder. You might have to step outside of your comfort zone. You might have to push it beyond what you even know. You might have to learn new skills. But you got to be willing to do so. And somebody is unwilling to put in effort. And so their opportunity is falling away because of their lack of desire. Lack of faith, lack of believing in themselves, right? You have to learn new things. You have to learn new things to be successful. It's just the way of life, right? And to learn new things, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. So somebody is like... You know, maybe they're holding on to their stance. You know, it's like, no, this is the way it's always been done. It's always been this way. Well, then you don't, then you're stuck. If you, if you live in that mentality... Yesterday is gone. You need to look at something from a new perspective. Somebody needs to make that decision to take that mask off. Stop pretending that anybody's going to help them. That, you know, they can keep it the way it was. No. It's time to, to be honest with yourself and see things from a new perspective. Open up your eyes. Wake up. You can't escape change. You can't escape what is. Somebody is losing an opportunity for abundance and security and stability because they don't believe in themselves. They just don't have the desire, the ambition, the drive, the confidence. Find that confidence. discontent somebody has been living in a discontent situation where they feel like oh they're the victim they've been brought to their knees i'm the victim i'm the victim here bullshit you allow yourself to be a victim you want to keep making 13 dollars an hour you want to keep living where you're living then fine don't do anything about it Step outside of your comfort zone. See things through a new perspective. You have an opportunity. You can manifest a golden opportunity. You can manifest whatever you want. But if you don't believe that you can manifest it, if you don't believe that you can do it, if you don't have any desire, if you don't have any ambition, if you don't have any drive, then you are screwed. Somebody is trying to escape, seriously, trying to escape the hard work. I mean, I can't make this shit up. You don't have to like my tone. It's that baby ass fucking tones that keep people stuck. Let me hold your hand and coddle you. That's, that's enabling. You think those people that are babying you really want you to succeed? Because they're trying to climb that ladder too. Anyway. Somebody is trying to escape the hard work. And it's time to wake up, speak up, 
Be optimistic. Make the decision that you need to make that you've been blocking. You've been blocking your own success. You've been delaying it due to lack of confidence. So somebody is needing to let go of that word, I can't, and say I can. And that's what I have for today. I'll do another one tonight. This is for somebody. Somebody needs to hear this message. If you watched this, it was probably you.